Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be checking out the last week of Time Bandits episode 9 today. Tomorrow I will try to get episode 10 over with and then it will have finally finished. Do let me know down in the comments below if you have been following the show or if you've just been following my videos on the show, my reviews. Now, without any further ado, let's jump right into this and hopefully we will get it over with soon. Hell Mal is the episode name, so let's go and get it. So of course at this point I would like to give a little bit of a recap. Our friends, the Time Bandits, our, our friends, were contacted by the Evil One, by the Dark One, to bring the map. Or they, Kevin and Saffron, will never see their parents ever again. Anyway, so this episode starts out, it looks like this is where the Ancient One lives, or the Benevolent One, or whatever they're calling it. God. Or actually, probably the Evil One to come. And yeah. Please remind me again why we couldn't have the Time Bandits being... This? If you're hiring them anyway, then it's clearly not that you're worried about people being upset about representation and that it's, I don't know, heightism. Really? You're hiring them, so why not make the time bandits dwarfs? Like they were in the original movie. So they're also time bandits? Talking about wanting to steal the map from the bandits to be the new Time Bandits? What is this? Time Bandits are back in Troy! So they're in Troy a day later, well, during the day when they got there during the night, and the Greeks have been sacking Troy. For some reason, they threw the Time Bandits in jail, even though that they were friends and helped get in, whatever, doesn't matter. Anyway, they found Cassandra, who is supposed to help them. And her advice is, where did you see the missing piece of the map last? So the last time they saw the piece of the map was when Susan died. So the bandits are going to be going back to when Susan died. Kevin says, well, maybe they can save Susan at the same time, even though that they tried it over and over again. D don't ask me, they're looking for the next portal and Poseidon showed up. Poseidon who looks weirdly like Taika Waititi. Except for, you know, the b under the head. No. So Kevin asked Poseidon if he would help with helping his parents. Penelope Screamed, you can't reason with him, he has a god complex. Right when his hand smashed Kevin, basically. And now Kevin is here with Taika Waititi. I think he's trying to recruit Kevin to become a spy. So supposedly the Supreme One, whatever he's called, I don't know at this point. He can bring back Kevin's parents. And not only that, it was supposedly a mistake, the parents that he got because they're not into history, they're not into nerdism, they're not into blah, blue, bloop. Okay, aside from the show supposedly being a comedy, which is not really very comedic, the Supreme One, who is supposed to be God, is tempting Kevin, much like the serpent would tempt Adam and Eve. Much like the serpent tried to tempt Jesus before being delivered onto the cross. 
The Supreme One, who is God, God, is tempting heaven. So supposedly Penelope lied to the group. The real reason they are traveling through time and space is to find her ex fiance Gavin. Davin? I honestly, no idea. Davin. Gavin. Gavin McGinnis? He has a pretty small... You know, you know if you know. So this is where Susan fell off the cliff and got crushed by the boulder. That's her down below and they didn't make it again. And this is Susan. Susan! Susan! She's running away from you. She just doesn't yeah, recognize you. Yeah, that would be me too. You know. Susan, we're coming! So Susan seems to be running away from the other bandits and she has the other piece of the map. Now, they went to a portal that wasn't on the map, so Susan must have found another portal. That being said, they jump into the Quinn Dynasty. And now they are in Kaffa 1343. So, 1343, right? And Kevin is talking about this is the way that the plague found its way to Europe. Which I'm not going to dispute right now. But based on the adventures that they went on, it's already been in Europe. It's already been in England. It's a known fact at this point. Honestly, fuck this show. They're running around searching for Susan when a few of the villagers at Kaffa stop them. Like, what is all this searching and calling for? And, you know, you don't have to be afraid of the bluebonic plague. Because it's going to be just like the flu. Everyone is going to get it eventually. If this isn't, I have to shut up now or YouTube is going to put a little thing below my video saying that I'm not a doctor. And no, I'm not a doctor. I'm talking about a freaking show here, which really freaking sucked. Hey, so this is Gavin. That's Susan. And this is a tiny house that they've been living in. Gavin. Susan. Hmm. Oh, they're just best friends, you know, living together, waiting for Penelope to show up. That's that's definitely what they look like, arm in arm. Right. So all of this has been to show Gavin that, you know, she's so much more than what he believed she is. And he's like, I'm not a piece of treasure. Fuck this episode. I'm sorry. Look, I usually do not try to use that word on my channel. At all. This episode has made me do it a few times now. Now I'm feeling kind of sad. Feeling really bad for the Time Bandits. They are being berated by Gavin and most... Uh, the most berating comes from Susan. Telling them that they're losers. That they're history tourists. She's really going hard on people who believe that she was their friend. What message is this show trying to tell you here? If this show is for children, if this show is supposed to be a comedy, what in the hell? What message are you trying to tell children here? So Kevin reminds Penelope that while Gavin may not need her, he needs her. And you see a small little montage of all the adventures that they took together. And now Penelope is trying to convince the rest of the bandits like, yeah, sure, we didn't set out and do what we said we wanted to do, but we did other things, a lot of fun things. And, you know, it's trying to be inspirational. And you see freaking Susan in the background going, yeah, sure, a bunch of people come together. <laughs> Fuck you. What is the message of this show? You know what? We're at a point. We're at a point, And I can't believe that I'm saying this. Where the Time Bandits, the people we have been following in this show the entire time. I feel bad for them. For trusting that their friend, Susan, cared about them. And now they're in their low point. And Kevin helped Penelope to be the leader that she's supposed to be. And inspiring her group. The bandits? The time bandits? And you have Susan in the background going, yeah, yeah, sure. You're idiots. You're losers. That makes me freaking upset. I don't know why. I, I don't like the show. There are so many issues with the show. 
But in the last couple of episodes and this episode, it seemed like there was a good message until something like this comes up. We're a band, a group, some people together. Yeah, some people together, yeah. Shut up, Very Susan. Good. I'm not denying that. I'm not finished. We're a team. We look out for each other. That's exactly. our point. That's what we've done. See, we don't good messaging. We don't people who don't care about us. We care about each other, even the newest members of our team. That's why we're going to help them save their parents. By taking them to just outside the most dangerous place in the universe. Penelope, I will follow you to the doorway of the fortress of eternal darkness. So will I, all the way to the entrance and no farther. Me free, I'll happily go all the way there, but not inside, because I'm too afraid. Yeah, almost. Susan, we need that piece of the map you took so we can find our way to the time of legends. You don't need the map to find the time of legends, you numpties. You're already in it. Oh. <laughs> uh, so that was it for episode nine, Pell Mal. Now, Again, we've just talked about it. I do want to say the message actually from the Time Bandits in this episode was very good. I liked it. I thought it was a great message. We will help our friends and it doesn't matter. We will do what we want to and it doesn't matter what other people say. Don't go out and please them. That's a good message. But bringing in Susan that freaking bitch and i have to say i'm sorry but it's the truth and look again i don't like to curse on my own channel I'm doing a live stream with other people i don't mind if people curse and yes sometimes uh certain curse words will escape my lips as well but i've gone hard on this episode there is so much crap that they built into this episode it's un freaking real. See, I say freaking instead of, you know, you know. Anyway, let me know what you thought of this episode and of the message down in the comments below. And hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. You know, whatever floats your boat. And hey, consider subscribing. And if you do that, hit the bell for notifications because that is the only way that YouTube knows that you are actually interested in seeing these videos. Thank you for stopping by and until next time, take care.